The, the end results is not what you put into it. I mean, oh, sometimes you can look at your body of work and think, I am a failure. Oh, my God in here. But how I many of God looked at you anyway? And how I many realize that God didn't tell you to clean up the come out of him? How I many know he, he called you out of your mess and your hiccup? And how I many know God saved you in spite of? Oh, am I doing okay again? Ain't got to jump. He saves us in spite of our past. Oh, my God here. Why are you trying to beat yourself up what God has forgiven you for? Got no help in here. And I my goodness in here. How I many know sometimes you're going to fall? And they're talking already in here. How I many realize that? But we got to understand we're living in falling times. We're living in times that people are overwhelmed with things. People don't, I've never seen it in my life. So many depressed people come to church. Oh my God, here, the mind is a terrible thing. And people have closed, my goodness, they closed themselves into their world. Some people have put bars on the windows, don't want nobody in, and they don't want to come out. They ain't got no heaven here. How many know that circle, how many know they've been talked down so much, they feel like I'm a failure, I can't do nothing. But how many know that the devil has hindered the possibilities of what God has for you? Uh, somebody else should have said something that time. So I'm going to begin to just evaluate and look back. And I want to look back on some more people in the Bible who has failed. And the first one that I looked at, Brother Bo, was the man that said had God after God's own heart. Yeah. How many realize that David failed? One day when he was at home and he looking at the top of the roof. Yeah. And when he looked out and saw a beautiful black woman bathing. Uh -huh. Yeah, my God. How many realize it wasn't no surprise to him? Right. How many know he was already hip that she take a bath by that time? So David waited on her, and he looked out and he saw the wife of Uriah. And when he seen her bathing, he got not only did he watch her and walk out there and look at her, but he told her to come here. Yes, he did. Told the woman to come to him. He was the king. I mean, brought her to him. He laid with her, conceived and had a child. Uh -huh. Oh my God, she got pregnant instantly. I mean, realized that David, when he realized then after the fact, after the sin. After he had failed, then he tried to cover it up. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. How many realize when you fall, the worst thing you try to do is cover it up? Right. The Bible says if you record a nicotine in your heart, then God won't hear you. The best thing to do is confess your sin quickly. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking all about it here. Right. But how many know that he had Uri, he told Uri to come off the hottest bow? Once he found out that it was his servant Uri who was in the war fighting for Israel. He said, now I'm going to make a trick in here. He calls Uriah off the battle. Tell Uriah, come home, man. You've been out there fighting long enough. I'm going to realize that. He said, now go home, man. Lay with your wife. You know, go home, take care of home before you have to go back to battle. But how many know But I understand something about Uriah? Well, I mean, this man said, how in the world can I go home and lay with my wife when the fight and the war is going on? I mean, realize that he was loyal not only to King David, right. the man who had slept with his wife, right. but he was loyal to Israel. Yes, and how I many the word came back, brothers, and he says, oh my God, he didn't go home, King. So King said, wait a minute, let me write a letter. Oh my God, here, how I many know one lie leads to another lie? Oh. One sin leads to another sin. Yes, right. He said, let me write a letter and send it to the captain. He sent it to the captain and he said, put your iron on the front line. Put him in the hottest battles and then engage in the fire in the fighting, leave him by himself. Then we got word that Uriah was killed in battle. It justified his sin, he thought. Uh, you might get away, but you haven't got by. And I know that then out of something he can carry and grab Bathsheba. Oh uh, my goodness here. But something happened there. God sent a prophet. To this man named Nathan. And he says, he gave an illustration about a, a family pet a you lamb. He said, here was a traveler who came in and a man that had plenty. He had everything, and yet and still he wouldn't grab hold to the family's pet. Grab the family's pet and fed his guests. And David was furious. He said, I want to kill this man. Who is it? He said, Oh king, it is you. You have taken Uriah's wife. Oh my goodness. How many know that David failed? 
He committed adultery. He lied. My God, here. Had this man killed. Not only did he commit adultery, but he killed, he had murder because he sentenced this man to death because why? He wanted what something that wasn't belong to him. Right. Ain't gonna find no help him in here. Then what happens in here that you can say, well, Pastor, how do they equate? How many know the, the subject that they said failed but not a failure? How many realize when David realized the thing and the sin he has done? Oh uh, my God, here he wrote one of the most beautiful songs that it was. And if I don't have it here, the 51st song, he said, Lord, have mercy on me. Yeah. Right. Anybody ever had to use that, Lord, have mercy on me? Yeah. Oh my God, here I have sinned against you, and you only have I sinned. Yeah. Lord, create me a clean heart. Ain't gonna find no help in there. And renew within me a right spirit. Cast me not away from your presence. Woo! How many realize that David failed, but he wasn't a failure? How many realize that he, God said he's a man after my heart because he was soon to repent? And how many realize that David never feel wasn't good enough? David kept on fasting and praying. How many realize the child that he conceived with Bathsheba? How I many know she was sick and the child was born by that death? Yeah. And the Bible said David fasted. He wouldn't hear no music and he wouldn't eat, he wouldn't sleep because of the sin. Not only did he destroy Uriah's marriage, not only did he have the man killed, not only did he conceive and have a son, now this child must die because of the sin. Right. Uh -huh. But I mean, nobody still, after he had forgiven, been forgiven, he yet held on to the issues. Let me press on in here. I'm talking today. Amen. The second man that I looked at was the prophet Elijah. Yeah. How many know that there was a showdown in high noon? Oh my God, here is Baal and, and Elijah. Elijah won, but how many know but one woman whose name was Jezebel ran him in the cave. Jezebel said, I'm going to kill you, man. And how many know that he took off scared of one woman? Right. He hid himself in the cave. And he says, Lord, Oh my God, here, all of the prophets are dead. And how many realize I'm the only one left? How many know a lot of us have failed and fallen because what? We think we're the only one. Yes, but my goodness in here, and I'm all by myself. Yeah. Is there anybody in this house ever caved in? All right. Ain't got no help now. Is there anybody ever's fault that I have fallen and I can't get up? Is there anybody in this house ever felt like my, my problem, my situation is overwhelming? Yeah. Have anybody ever felt like that the things I have done, there's no more repentance for? Right. Anybody ever thought that I've done so much that God ain't gonna never forgive me? Have I done so much I felt God so many times that God is not gonna restore me? How many know I've done too much to show forth God's love in me? I can never tell nobody else about God because I fell in so many times. But I heard the Bible say, God says, Elijah, why are you here? I find your neighbors and neighbor, why you're in low above? Why you're in the depression? Why you're in looking like that? Why you got your head down because you see it? Why you might ready to quit because you fail? I stop out to tell you today you can fall and not be a failure. I'm in real 
somebody don't define my present circumstance. I might used to be a mess. I might used to be in trouble. I might used to be a sinner. But friends of mine, today I'm saying, Woo! I got to lean on your neighbor and say, neighbor, I messed up, but I didn't give up. Even in my mess, 